I hope we're not intruding. Oh, of course not. Come on in. Let me take your coats. Thank you. How are you doing? Fine, fine. Not great. Well, we take turns propping each other up. Well, if you have to go through something as terrible as this, it's better if you're not alone. I wouldn't want to try that. Unfortunately, I haven't had to. Thank you. Did you want to see Robert? Yes, is he here? Uh, he's in the other room. Oh, yeah, I've, I've just been going crazy. I, I didn't want to wait there for his call. I thought I'd come over here. Has he heard anything yet? Rick, but that was your voice I could hear? Hi, Blake. Hi, Rob. How are you? I'll be a little better if you have some good news. Have you found Luke and Laura? I mean, it just doesn't seem right to have the services without... Laura being here. And Luke, too. Look, I know how you feel. I, uh, I just want to tell it to you how it is in the moment. No, right now it doesn't look very good, does it? Well, I wouldn't give up hope just at the moment. I mean, although I haven't spoken to my WSB contact in India, I mean, I am expecting something shortly. Now, it all depends on whether the Sherpas can get through to the ashram in Himalayas and deliver a message to Luke and Laura. And if they can? It means we probably can't get a message to them. Well, I don't know what to do. Look, look, I'm expecting to hear something soon. Let's wait and see, huh? Look, I cannot go on uh, putting off the schedule of, of the funeral. Look, would you both care to stay here and, and wait for the call? Yes, I would. I would, thank you. Blackie, you don't have to. No, I know you got a lot of things to do, and I will understand. Nowhere, Look, go. No. I'm going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not. That's why I want to be with you. All right? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I know your family must be a real comfort to you. Well, if I didn't have this guy and uh, Mike and Amy, I would be in pieces because they're the ones holding me together. You know, it works both ways, buddy. Yeah, I can tell. Why do you have to have a, you know, tragedy like this to remind you of how much you have to be thankful for. I would have settled it up for uh, an evening, maybe uh, 24 hours, because I had, I, had, I had a lot of things I had to say to Leslie. Like I had to tell her how much I loved her. And, uh, she knew. Why, why didn't I make us all some tea? Hey, that's a good idea, love. Uh, make the time pass a bit quick. Uh, Rick? Oh, yeah, sure. If, uh, it's not too much trouble. I'd, you know, I'd no you. problem, really. I'll, I'll just be a minute. Everybody's been just nice, really nice. I mean, it's so nice that it's, it's, uh, it's getting on my nerves. I know what you mean. I mean, they call, and they even come by, and they all ask the same thing. They want to know, uh, when the funeral's going to be. What are you telling them? The truth. I, I can't have a funeral unless I know if Laura can be here or not. I can't blame you for that. No, nobody blames you. I, if I think there's the slightest possibility you can find him, then I'll postpone it. I'll, I'll make it next week. Yeah. I'd do the same thing. I don't know how to say goodbye. Thank you, Holly. Blackie? No, thanks. You'd probably prefer coffee, wouldn't you? No, it doesn't matter much these days. Excuse me. Is that your uh, contact in India? <coughs> hey, mind if I listen? Come on. Thank you. Scorpio. Yeah. You sure? How far? Good. All right, keep at it. Let me know the minute you hear anything. Yeah, thank you. They didn't find him. Bad news? Well, it's not good. 
The sheriff has got through to the ashram, but the American couple had uh, left. Great. So much for that. Did they find out where Luke and Laura were going? Yeah, they've gone to a nearby village. Well, can these guys get to the village? Well, my contact has already sent a messenger ahead. It isn't far, apparently, and he's going to look for Luke and Laura. Now, we may... we may get through to them yet. When? Well, I'm not going to know for certain. Robert, I, I just can't keep postponing this funeral. Yeah, well, look. With any luck, we'll know in a couple of hours. Well, I guess I could put it off for a couple of hours, but then I'm, I'm going to have to reach a decision. You and Black, you're welcome to wait here if you'd like. Yeah, look, why don't you do that? I'm not going anywhere till I get some information about Luke and Laura, and you, you won't be in my way. Thanks, maybe we've been here long enough. I, uh, I'd like to go home. Mike is going to be there, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to be with Mike. Well, there's other people there, too. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll wait to hear from you. Yeah, OK. Well, uh, if you feel anxious at all and you want to come back, you're welcome. We appreciate it very much. What do you want to do? Sticking with you. I can call you when, when they let me know. I'll save the dime, Doc. Thanks. Well, I guess we're together on this. Uh, we'll see. You. Okay. Now listen, if you need anything at all, we'll let you know, Robert. Uh, I'll leave. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Robert, thank you. Any word? Yeah, but it isn't good. Oh, no. Looks as if Leslie's funeral's gonna have to take place without Laura. Are you sure? I just had a word with my uh, WSB contact in India. And they couldn't find Luke or Laura? If you stick close, you can listen to every word. I've got to call Rip now. Hello. Did you hear from India? Yes. Well, tell me, what? Look, I'm sorry to say that my contact has disappointing news. They couldn't find Luke and Laura. When he got to the village, they'd already gone. They stopped in uh, on the way to pick up supplies. At least that's what the villagers said. Supplies for what? Apparently they took off backpacking. Do they know where they went? Well, no one seems to have any idea how to get in touch with them. They, they could be incommunicado for days. I really thought it was a long shot from the very beginning. Look, Holly and I feel pretty bad about it. Uh, we tried. That's all we can do, Robert. Thank you for everything you did, and we tried. Sorry, it just wasn't enough. So am I. You know, I feel bad for Rick. Not only has he lost Leslie, he doesn't even look as if he can have his only daughter at the funeral. You did all you could to locate Laura. I'm not taking any blame for it. I just wish things had turned out differently. It makes you realize how little control you have over your life, or anyone else's, for that matter. Yeah, it's true. You can go. It's like that. You can lose someone you love in the time it takes to mention their name. One minute you have a full, happy life. And the next, you've lost everything. You know, I almost feel guilty about how fortunate I've been. How do you mean? Well, I used to run around laying my life on the line, week in, week out, putting it all down to high adventure. Now I look back on it, I think it was all a touch irresponsible. I feel the same way. I haven't been as in as many dangerous situations as you have, but I've certainly walked that tightrope many times. Mm. There's a lesson to be learned by Leslie's death. It's that don't take anything or anyone for granted. Because you could lose it all in a minute. Spend the rest of your life regretting it. Oh, poor Rick. I imagine he's haunted by all the things he never said to Leslie times that he wasn't with her when he could have been, for whatever reason. And all those moments that they never shared, and now they never will. I know I'd feel like that. Why, anyone would. I can't imagine life without you. 
Neither could I. I don't know if I could handle what Rick is experiencing right now. That which doesn't kill me makes me stronger. You believe that? We're the proof. There are a lot of different ways to put your life on the line, but I think that loving someone is the most dangerous. No question. But certainly the most rewarding. It's kind of ironic. We've been risking our lives for years, and we're still here to talk about it. Leslie, you led a very ordinary life. Suddenly, dies without warning. Doesn't make sense. It makes you appreciate what you've got while you've got it. I certainly do.